It's being considered the biggest policy change relating to marijuana in more than 50 years. News of this possible change broke late last month. Now, President Joe Biden is going on record saying it's all about righting historic wrongs. This is monumental. An election year announcement by President Joe Biden, who said the Department of Justice has now formally proposed a rule change to make marijuana a Schedule Three drug, putting it on the same level as ketamine or Tylenol with codeine, rather than more illicit drugs like LSD, ecstasy, or cocaine. It's an important move toward reversing long-standing inequities. No one should be in jail merely for using or possessing marijuana, period. Advocates say this change will drastically loosen the restrictions on marijuana, potentially unlocking new research and lowering the burden on medical marijuana users nationwide. But the change stops short of decriminalizing or legalizing marijuana. Why stop at just scheduling it down? Well, the president is doing everything he can uh, decriminalization really is an issue for Congress. Near Tandon, Biden's domestic policy advisor, joined Spectrum News at the White House and says that this has been a priority for the president. In late 2022, President Biden announced nationwide pardons for simple possession and expanded on those pardons a year later. But just as with those pardons, this latest move does nothing to address state law, where right now recreational use of marijuana is illegal in more than two dozen states. We really don't need to have a marijuana in the same category as LSD or heroin. The proposed rule change will now go through a 60 day public comment period before an administrative judge weighs in. That means a final decision by the DOJ is likely still months away. Reporting here at the White House, Seven Kozlov, Spectrum News.